What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Technology is taking over. We use technology on a daily basis. We have smartphones, iPods, MP3 players, tablets, laptops, notebooks, flat screen TVs, apps, anything that you can think of. We have Ubers. Smartphones that can get us from point A to point B. Technology is really taking over. I am surprised with all the latest gadgets and the technology that we use on a daily basis. And I can tell that after this year, after 2019 is over in 2020, the technology is going to expand even more. And I got a feeling that's going to expand in 2020, e even in beyond that. You're going to see some stuff that you've never seen before in your life. So what do I mean by technology taking over? Well, we're wired to our phones 24 seven. We're on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook all, every single day, worrying about likes and comments on our photos and videos. And we compare ourselves to other people and we're stalking other people's profiles and we compare ourselves to other people. Now, there's nothing wrong with using social media. I love social media. I love the tools that I can use for it to help me expand. But a lot of us and including me, because I have this problem, too, a lot of us are addicted to these apps and social media like Instagram and Facebook and all that where we're on line 24 seven and we're usually wondering how, how many likes did we get? How many comments did our videos or posts receive? How many followers or subscribers that we have? And I'm guilty of this too. Like, I would always wonder how many followers or how many views that my photo get. But the thing is, it's important to know is to not let technology take over your life. Yes, you can still have fun on social media and you can use it to expand your business and grow your platform, whatever it is that you're trying to do. But this is like a suggesting and advice that I'm giving. Don't let technology control your life. And I'm also talking to myself because I'm on my phone 24 seven and there are other things that I would like to do, like to meditate, communicate with people in real life, like make real life connections, still have fun in my, in the real world. Like I can still turn up and have fun on social media, but I also would like to be, make sure that I am having fun and expanding in creating real life relationships and having fun in real life as well. Every now and then I, I need to take a social media fast, like maybe, yeah, one week I'm going to challenge myself and go one week without social media and Instagram and all that and see what happens. But yes, a lot of us, have this issue of comparing ourselves to others online. And it's a huge problem that many of us suffer with every single day. I've been watching this YouTuber called Spiritual Soul. He posts real good stuff. Like he said that, he says that social media and Instagram was meant to destroy you. And he's right because we're always comparing ourselves to other people, wondering how many likes and comments we get. We're jealous that people are living better lives than us. And we want to wonder why we're not living that lifestyle or why this girl's booty is bigger than yours or why this guy can't, why this guy has big muscles, you know, crazy stuff like that. He said, he's right. Instagram is a, and social media is a brainwashing tool to keep us 
controlled in this matrix. And it's important not to let social media and all these apps control our lives. And this is a problem that I'm currently suffering with, but I'm going to work on it. I want to get into doing other things like drawing, reading, writing, exercising, getting out into nature more, making real, genuine, authentic relationships, which a lot of us seem are lacking. Not all of us, but a lot of us seem to lack nowadays because everybody, including myself, is wired to their phone 24-7. And it can be very addicting being on your social media. It can be very addicting, but that's why I'm going to practice, you know, taking a break from it because it can be very addicting and it can cause you a lot of worries in your life. And it's one of the main reasons why relationships are, why relationships are getting messed up, why we have relationship issues because let's face it the reason why relationships are messed up due to where girls going through their boyfriend's phone to see if he's cheating on her her or not and spying on your ex and it's making you feel depressed because they're with someone and they they dumped you and they're with somebody else and now your heart's just crushed it's crazy but yeah Social media is supposed to be a tool to expand your business and to have genuine, cool fun. Yes, you can still turn up, but don't compare yourself to others and don't let it run your life. And another reason why technology is taking over is we have these apps called Uber and Lyft. That can get you from point A to point B. It's pretty amazing. It's cheaper and you get to your destination real quick. I love Uber. I started using it two years ago. I first used it when I was going out of town on vacation. And it's really convenient and they get you to where you need to go to safe. And it's really cool. But also, it's important to be careful which you post. And a lot of you don't know, but the government, or should I say the elite, they're spying on us through our phones. So everything that you're doing online, like buying, like shopping online, they know what you, they know the stuff that you like. They know the people that you follow. They know everything about you. Like, say you want to type in something and it automatically pop pops up after you type in the first word. So, yeah. They'd be like, how do they know that I was on this website and that I like this particular thing? They are spying on us through our phones. So, you might want to be careful with that. So, if you're, whatever it is that you do on, on a daily basis... But better hope you ain't doing, you better not be doing nothing crazy because they tracking it. Everything that you do online, they're tracking it. They know every single thing about you through your cell phone. They are the cell phone. I mean, the smartphone. It's not just a regular device that we use. It's also a tracking device and they're tracking everybody through our phones and so technology is taking over. And I got a feeling that in the next decade, everything is going to be automated. The stores will be automated. Your jobs are going to be automated. So then those of us or those of you that are working a nine to five, your jobs are going to be automated. There isn't going to be no nine to five anymore. And so that's why everybody is using the internet to support themselves and make an income online so they can be free and have a great living. And so, yeah, technology has expanded since since it's, since 2000. When did it start? 
somewhere in 2006 has been it's been expanding and growing. Like since 2012, people have been starting their own online businesses and making tons of money online. And so this is the time where technology and things are expanding. It's happening. It's been happening. It's going to continue to happen. And we already have all, every single technology that you can think of. Things that that are from the future, from the year 3000s. We already have all those technology. Anything that you can possibly think of, we have it. It's just that. Those in power are suppressing those technology and stuff like robots. They're suppressing the technology and gadgets. They're suppressing the information. The truth is we already have all every single technology that you can think of. We have it all. They're suppressing it and keeping it a secret because, well, as you already know, they want to remain in power and keep everyone as slaves in this corrupt system that we live in. But in 2020, they ain't going to be able to hide nothing from us anymore. So, yeah. In the next few, couple of years or so, everything is going to be Internet based technology that you that you see in the movies that you. That are beyond this time that we're living in you're going to see it all in the next couple of years in the next year or so the robots well we already have robots but you're going to see even more of them in the upcoming years yeah so yes use social media and technology as a tool don't let it use you if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.